everyone, my name is Seabirdbrain and today we are talking about drawings. So there's many ways in which working digitally can speed up your hand-drawn animation process. And one of my favorite tools to work faster is the Envelope tool. With that tool, I can achieve multiple things from editing my drawings in the most subtle ways to creating crazy smear frames. And today, I'm going to teach you all about it. First, you'll need a drawing to deform. This tool will work in both brush lines and pencil lines. However, if you use the envelope tool on a textured brush stroke, it will deform its texture to fit the new shape of the brush stroke. So keep in mind that it will resemble the texture and it will probably make it lose quality, which is not the case with a regular vector brush. You can edit it as much as you want. The line will always look perfect because hey, it's a vector. Also, it is a bit finicky with the pencil line because it might unconnect your lines and create gaps when you pull too hard. So if you use another drawing that was cleaned up using the pencil, uh, you need to do a little close gap work. But you know, I still think it's worth it. In general, I use it way more in my rough anyway, and then I just clean on top of them, but I thought I'd let you know. Also, this is a tool. I'm not talking about the node. If you're looking for something to deform your whole animation, uh, you have to check with the mesh warp node, which is not what we're going to talk about today. So let's learn how to use the envelope tool. First, to activate it, simply head over to your toolbar, go get your Contour Editor's drop-down menu, and find the envelope. It's right there. And when you click on it, you'll see that the tool property window is going to transform to suit the envelope tools option. There's not many options, but they're pretty useful. Then it's super easy. All you need to do is lasso around your shape. Note that this tool will select strokes just like the select tool, so it's going to select the whole strokes, not just like this small part. If you want to use this feature on a smaller part of your drawing, just make sure to cut it first with the cutter. So if I wanted to get just that part, I could do this and cut paste it in place. And then if I try to use my envelope tool, it's going to stop right where I cut it. Be careful if you do that on a cleanup drawing with a pencil because then you'll need to make sure that your gaps are closed and stuff. So by default, you can only select artwork that is currently on the layer, but you can also select artwork from a different layer holding Ctrl um, or Command on a Mac, just so you know. And if you want to select your whole drawing, simply click Ctrl or Command A and you'll get all of your drawing that you can deform as much as you want. So now that we know how to select our stuff, uh, we need to know how to deform it. If you click and pull on these points, you can pull your drawing in different directions. And then if you want even more control, you can use these handles to reshape your drawing. Just be careful not to click outside your drawing because then you're going to lose your envelope. You can always control Z to get it back though. To display more control, simply click on this icon right here that is called show advanced control. And it's just going to give you a couple more points. These points will not have handle, but you'll be able to pull on them. So it's pretty great if you want to modify your strokes. Okay, so in the context of your production, this tool can be useful in many ways. Usually I'll use it to create these crazy smear frames. I was in a hurry for this scene, so I didn't want to try and try and try. So I just took my rough, I took like one of the foot. You can then take that foot and just try to push it so that it looks cool. <laughs> and I get my warp tool here. I will not have too many points. I always start with like the minimum. And then if you pull on it, you can, you can get a very cool deformation. I use this a lot in my rough just to get some quick morphing going on. And if I want more control, you can simply click on these to add more points and just create some very cool uh, shapes. So the difference between skewing your drawing with the select tool and morphing it with the envelope tool is pretty big. I will skew it once with my select tool. I mean, it's something, it can be fun kind of, but it's still very rigid and a little cheap. But if I go get my envelope, even with little points, you'll be able to quickly get a result that is much more fluid than what you would have gotten with the select tool. Another way I like to use the envelope tool is to create subtle, subtle movement. And usually in another software, people would just use the select tool because that's all they have. And they would just move their hair a little bit like that, which works. It's just a bit less cool. If I want to get some very subtle movement, instead of using the select tool, I would just use the envelope tool and I will get my hair, for example. And then you can get something that is way more puffy and natural and stuff than what you would get with the select tool. So that's how I was able to quickly do these little hair movements. It's very subtle, but I mean, it brings a lot to the animation. And finally, we're just gonna go to the tool properties and see what we have. So here you have a lasso that can be at a marquee, you have the classic snap, and you have this that is very important, the apply to line art and color art. If it's not activated and you try to pull on your drawing, uh, you're only gonna get the line, which can be cool for some effect. I, I, I do understand, but sometimes it's not what you want. So be sure to click here to get both your line art and your color art to be able to move them together. Here you have the width and height to add more or less points. You have the show advanced button that we've already seen. And here you have the button to have symmetry. You know, these are classics. So I hope you had fun and I'm gonna see you again next week for another video. Have a nice day.